All right, here we are. It's April 2011. See my breath a little bit. It's cold. It's been raining for about two days. Uh, we've had about an inch and a half, two inches of rain, depending on which uh, weather channel you're watching. Um, right over here, flip this. I have the Eureka Apex 2XT set up. I'm going to find out if it's been dry in there. Um, the only thing I've noticed, and you'll see, it's rain's finally kind of died down enough where I can kind of do this without hopefully ruining my camera. The um, thing you're going to notice is the vestibule design. Like, that's the only legitimate thing that I've heard the negative comments about. Um, I've heard it's a real dry tent. I've had lots of Eureka tents, so I'm assuming that's true. I've had the vent open. Um, both vestibules closed obviously because it's been pouring for a couple of days now so after it's finally settled down we're gonna find out if it's a dry tent I did not guy out the uh, I guess you'd call it like a lower guy out or the the rain fly down here I didn't guy it out I wanted to see if it was touching the tent if that was gonna hurt anything literally I've not gone inside this tent yet since the rain now the one thing I noticed and I've read and you'll see it right here is this vestibule is extremely awkward um, luckily I read reviews so hopefully I can get in here without making my tent wet um, but don't zip it up all the way you can go all the way around with it if you do that you're gonna soak your tent so go up about halfway I'm gonna go up to about right there as far as I'm gonna go with it so you can see so I don't get any of the outside water uh, I learned that from reading a couple of reviews on Amazon or something to that effect as you can see there's a ton of water on here um, one thing I was concerned about we'll find out if it's a big deal it's kind of loose up here but as you can see it's beaded really really well I've never had any problems with Eureka tents leaking so hopefully this one's no different In here, this has got a little water beaded up there from opening up the vestibule. Um, get inside. Ah, oh. and looks like a dry tent to me. Now, here's the problem from getting in. I have gotten some drops of water from getting in the tent. I don't know if they're showing up on the screen or not. But actually when I got in, my foot caught the vestibule and kind of pulled the material in. So here's the other thing about the tent. The distance that you have to go, you see my little Sam Adams over there. The distance that you have to go to close the, the vestibule is pretty far. See how well I can reach. Oh, very difficult to get all the way down there um, but the tents completely dry yeah no sign of water except for the droplets I got in when my foot dragged to get into the tent so that's the awkwardness. It, yes, it's a dry tent, I guess, because it has rained a couple inches. I don't think, I think if you go out camping and you get much more than that, then it's your own fault. But I disagree. I heard one person say that the quality of this tent was uh, subpar. I completely disagree. All the seams are taped, every single one of them. Um, the stitching that they referred to, let me see if I can find one. I think he found one. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Hopefully it's showing up for me too. Um, you can see a little light in the mesh right there, but that's, it's material that's sewn into the mesh. So, I mean, this little dot that appears and that's visible, 
it was sewn in to match so I'm not sure everything's double stitch you can tell they've put like a um, kind of like a plastic or something like that in between the stitching and then everywhere else the seams are taped so the quality of the floor is good um, it's thicker than actually a lot of backpacking tents uh, the only thing that I would suggest to Eureka, and I know they redesigned this tent, and I haven't seen it yet, but why not a couple of little stake down points on the vestibule, just to make that tighter. Uh, I think I'm going to rig something up to be able to do that. Um, just use some seam grip, put a little eyelet there, um, and just so I can stake down my vestibule so it's nice and tight, and that might actually help with coming in. But they've got a nice storm flap. You can see through the material how far it goes over the actual zipper. So, I mean, this isn't even damp. Even though I entered next to the tent, this is completely dry. You see all the water beside there. I can rub my hand and I can tell that this material is not gonna allow moisture through. You can just, you can tell. Um, for condensation, I've let this vent open. I thought for sure there'd be some sort of water along here. A um, couple people commented, well, I don't like that the fly doesn't go down the whole way on this side. You can see kind of where the fly goes to. But this material right here is the same as what the fly is. So really no big deal. Uh, unless you just wanted two flies. But this is all a mesh tent anyways. So, I mean, what you're seeing here is, is mesh hands up against mesh um, so and then I thought for sure not staking that out a little bit I'd have like a drop or two of water but I don't so excellent tent excellent value awkward vestible but I think just getting used to it I think you can work around that and I don't think it's uh, a really big issue Eureka Apex XT 2 XT plenty of room um, away on one side where I would be comfortable and as you can see I'm laying where I could be sleeping my arms stretched out and I've got at least a foot uh, more so definitely a two-person tent um, with the two large vestibules I think with the fact that if you were in rain and you had to come in through this way uh, I think this is your only usable usable vestibule. One's usable um, and one's yeah I, I mean I guess you could put like some boots you could put a, a decent sized pack over here I guess um, but I think getting in and out of the tent I think you're gonna get that at least slightly wet um, but as you can see I mean the vestibule is very large um, I paid seventy dollars for this tent delivered brand new um, the only reason is because it was a eBayer who was brand new he had zero ratings I was even a little bit ner nervous about it but I was surprised that no one had um, no one had bid it on it and I couldn't believe I only got it for that that price um, all in all I gotta say I've owned the Solitaire, I've owned the Tetragon, I've owned the Mountain Pass, I've owned the Scenic Pass, um, I've owned the Eureka Combat Tent, uh, and this is my next purchase of a, a Eureka. I, just, I love trying out their products. I seem to be able to use them for quite some time, and then still have somebody who's interested in it, wants it, and then I upgrade, or sometimes downgrade if there's something cheaper out there that's closing out. Uh, I think if you find this tent right now, with the price it's at, you can't go wrong. You can't beat this tent for what I paid for it. Um, it's dry. I was really worried and I thought for sure that I was going to find out that it wasn't. Um, but just like some of the reviewers said, because of the way that this vestibule is designed, you're a long, I mean my arms from right here reaching out the tent, I'm two feet away. Easily 24 inches away from where that zipper starts. So a little bit awkward but I think I'll get used to a good enter and exit plan. Um, get this all the way up here so you can see. Lots of room on both sides. 
Um, lots of room in the tent in general for what you need. I think it's rated at uh, 411 and seven and a half. I'm six foot tall. Um, you know, the walls go up very steep. You know, they don't droop over like, like the Tetragon, some of the other tents, even expensive tents, they kind of, the sides kind of droop. These kind of go straight up in the air. So, and I'm sitting up perfectly fine and I'm not even in the center of the tent, so. I'll show you that again. Yeah, I'm sitting up in it. My head's not touching, I got two or three inches and, you know, I'm right by this back seam. So, two people, could sit in here face to face, play a game of cards, out of the rain, be dry, tons of ventilation with all this mesh. I love the mesh door features. Absolutely love that. You know, on both sides. I was nervous about it. But I kind of like that. I can see all my gear, all my stuff's right there all the time in sight. If I wanted to roll up the, uh, the fly and stargaze, you got so much room to do it. And look, even with all that water there, and this has been a couple of days, this is a dry tent. So anybody saying that it's not, either got a fluke or something, uh, I'm not sure. And then all the ventilation. I mean, obviously condensation is not going to be much of a problem. You got tons of ventilation. Um, one thing I don't like about this is you can't adjust it from the inside. It's closed off. So, but oh well, that's just getting picky. All in all, I rate it. All in all, I rate this tent probably an 8 out of a 10. Um, reason for not a 10 out of 10 is it's more of a two-person backpacking tent. I wouldn't take this if I had to go a lot of miles. Um, you know, it's just under 6 pounds, which isn't too bad. It doesn't seem like much, but between two people, it's 3 pounds. And that's where you, right where you want to be as far as I'm concerned. 3 to 4 pounds for your, uh, for your shelter. And for two people backpacking, absolutely fine. Plenty of room for two people to sleep and plenty of room for gear to set under the vestibule. So it's a good buy. Um, the other reason I'm gonna take a point away is because of the awkward vestibule. Um, had the vestibule been able to start from up here and zip down, might've been a good idea, but then you think about that and you go, well, no, you can't do that because of this mesh you've got no protection. So once you started to unzip it from here, you'd have water going down in here. So, you know, they did the best they could with it. Just don't zip the vestibule all the way up. Only go about, you know, two and a half, three feet high, two feet high with it and you'll be fine. So, hope this review helped. This is my first one. Um, I've got a Diamond brand combat tent that I'm gonna show you. Um, some Alice packs, some other types of gear, um, and hopefully they make it helpful to uh, be able to make a solid purchase and feel comfortable with what you're getting. So, good luck, happy backpacking.